sometimes it's more beneficial to find existing brushes that meet your needs than to try to figure out how to recreate or to create brushes that you need. And so one way to find new brushes is to use the free brushes that Adobe allows you to install. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of brushes that people have developed that you can load into Photoshop. Uh, Photoshop doesn't come with all of them installed because the file size would be astronomical. Uh, but one easy way to get additional brushes is to hit the option flyout menu on the brushes panel and hit get more brushes. I will walk you through this process. So with Photoshop open, make sure your brushes panel is open and hit the option flyout menu and then choose get more brushes. It will redirect your internet to take you to adobe.com to the specific page that will have information about downloading brushes. However, in order to download them, you must first sign in. So I'll go ahead and I'll sign in. If it doesn't redirect you back to the page that you want to be on, as long as you're logged in, you can always close out of your browser, go back to Photoshop, hit the option flyout menu and hit get more brushes again. I was redirected, so now I have access to that page. And so they just released this winter 2020 um, brushes. I'll go ahead and I'll download that. Download any of the brushes that you think that you may want to work with. Maybe you want the watercolor brushes, or maybe you want the spatter brushes or the runny ink brushes. Whatever you want, you need to download them and it will download them as a .abr file. So if I go to my downloads right now, you can see that I am, get rid of some of this miscellaneous stuff. When they finish downloading, I have downloaded four sets of brushes and they're all saved as a .abr file. Once they're downloaded, all you have to do is come to the brushes panel and hit import brushes, find wherever you have saved that .abr file. So we can go to downloads, runny ink. And then if we collapse these folders, you will see that runny ink has just been added. I can hit the flyout menu and choose import brushes. Can do the watercolor ones, which are the ones that interest me the most. And now I have the watercolor brushes, and if you expand these, you now have brushes to use. So if you were to select the brush, make sure that you still have a paintbrush selected, and then start painting, you will now have all the brushes that this person has provided for us to use. If we go to watercolor, which is the ones I'm most interested in, I can select the brush, and then I can paint, and it has transparency and texture applied to it. So it looks like watercolor right off the bat, as I start, look how cool that looks. Definitely looks like watercolor. Let's do Command A and Command X. Uh, as I paint, look, look at that amazing texture that it applies. So instead of me having to figure out what settings create that texture and the variation in the brush stroke, I can find one that already exists and then focus on the painting that I'm trying to create. It's optional for our class. You're not required to find and install brushes, but you may want to. If you're interested, please go ahead and do that. And then in our last video, we will learn how to paint with layers using the mixer brush tool.